is the new Leica Q, uh, a really interesting camera from Leica because it, it, it sort of wraps itself around the traditional and brings into play all of the digital craziness that's going on in the world. Auto focus, manual focus peaking, and it's a never ending list. And they, the implementation here is almost perfection. I think we get a lot of people arguing about whether it's uh, 28, 35. It does 35 crop very well. Um, I'm a 28 shooter, so it works for me. And you know, I, the one question I get a lot of is, is uh, what do you think? Is it, is it? And I, I think it's close to perfection. I have a couple of little minor things. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are well. I'm a I'm a big fan of of using uh, exposure compensation in manual exposure mode with auto fo auto ISO set, and you can't do that here. And I understand why. Not a lot of cameras uh, do it anyway. I mean, I think. You know, Sony certainly does. Uh, I think they have a different perspective of things. But um, maybe it'll come in a firmware change. I noticed there are a few people talking about it. It's big. It's not. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's. Uh, but it's got a lot of a lot of functionality. I like the way you can go into uh, manual focus mode. Just a click of a button, and you're in manual focus. There's a really nice little option for doing uh, for doing close focusing, uh, which you know, again, well implemented and things that uh, uh, are, are better than Fuji's implementation on the X100. The viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder is probably the best I've looked through, bar mm -hmm. none. Um, and they're pretty proud of that, I, I know they are. For the crop mode, you can do crop in DNG, which in, is easy to do. You, you click the button here and now I'm in 35 crop, click it and I'm in 50 crop. What happens is, is with the JPEGs, you get the full cropped image. With the, but on the DNG, you just get the lines where the crop would be. Um, and essentially, you're getting a 15 megapixel, 35 mil viewpoint, and about an 8 megapixel, uh, 50 millimeter viewpoint. When you think about it, that's a lot of megapixels. Um, so all good. Um, uh, you know, uh, I haven't shot enough yet to be uh, an expert on the subject. Uh, I, I think uh, the reviews kind of kill me because these guys take these things out for a day and they think they're experts. I've seen so much bad information passed about this mm. camera, a lot, um, uh, with people who don't understand, you know, the, what, uh, what Leica was up to. And I'm not there yet myself. So. Mm. Uh, the other thing I, I want to say while we're, we're talking about this is there's a, there's a thumb grip here. And I noticed that our friend, friends at Match Technical are going to issue a, uh, a thumbs up for it. Totally stupid. Pimping the camera for no particular reason uh, other than, you know, to sell things, I guess. But the last thing this camera needs is a thumbs up because it's got it kind of built in. Which, again, much to Leica's credit, the ergonomics are very good. Anyway, I like shooting with it. That's probably the most important thing. And... As uh, you know, if, if I'm asked to review it, I would say that it's a camera that doesn't get in the way mm -hmm. of making pictures because digital cameras nowadays get in the way. You, sure. you could pick up most digital cameras, and the interfaces are so freaking complicated that you know they just simply get in the way. And I, I would say that this one here does a pretty good job of staying out of the way. And how many cameras can claim that? Certainly not some of the ones I've used. Uh, maybe this, uh, maybe. I think we could say the M2 claim can make that claim as probably the, the beginning, but it's not a digital camera. So here's a digital camera that can make the claim. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you.